Hello everyone, welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Millen and I am a software engineering student at Carleton University in Ottawa, Canada. Today, I will be going over some commonly asked physics questions at both the high school and college or university levels. If you are interested in getting some help with your homework or if you're interested in getting some tutoring, please check out the links in the description below. Cool, so I'm gonna switch over my screen ASAP fast and we can start this physics adventure. Always a good time. Okay, so let's get this party started. Okay, so this is the first question that we got on the menu today, and it is asking us, an electron starts at rest 74.5 centimeters from a fixed point charge with um, the charge of that point charge as 200 or 0.200, negative 0.200, um, Ignore that A, axon circumflex, uh, microcoulombs, okay? So this is just a charge at that point. Uh, how fast will the electron be moving when it is very far away? Meaning, like, so far away that the force from the point charge is not really relevant anymore, okay? So let's draw a diagram to kind of represent what is going on in this situation. And then once we have a diagram, we can um, hopefully more clearly see what's really going on here and come to a beautiful answer. Okay, so uh, we have a electron, an electron, let's draw it like that. And we know the charge of an electron, uh, let's call that QE, is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. I have that memorized on the top of my dome, but um, hopefully you would have like an equation sheet or somehow be able to um, recall that this is the charge of an electron. And we know that the mass of an electron is uh, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Okay, so this is our electron, and these are just properties um, that you should be able to access um, about the electron, okay? And it mentions to us that it is 74.5 centimeters. So we can represent that like this. 74.5 centimeters. Uh, we can also write this as 0 0.745 meters. And the reason why is because um, we want to convert everything to base SI units. So converting those centimeters to meters will make our calculations a lot cleaner and our units are going to be less, um, are, are going to be significantly easier to deal with if we're all in base, base SI. Okay, so that's the distance, but its distance is um, 74.5 centimeters away from a fixed point charge. So let's just call this um, big Q. And we know that big Q is going to be um, negative 0 0.200 microcoulombs. Uh, another way that we can write that is negative 0 0.200 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And uh, the mass is not really relevant for this point charge because, well, it's fixed in place. So because it's not moving at all, uh, we don't really need to worry about its mass. And it's not really given to us. So, um, you know, uh, not something we really need to worry about. Okay, so this is all the information that we need to know to solve this uh, question. Okay, so the main concept that we want to think about is potential energy. Right now, this electron has some potential energy. It, um, as we can see, the charges of the electron and the charge of the point charge, they're both negative. And we know that when the signs are opposite, they're trying, to get, they're trying to get close to each other if the signs are opposite, but the signs are the same. So they're trying to get far away from each other. They're saying, get out of here, get me out of here. I'm not trying to be close to someone who's too similar to me. Um, <laughs> I imagine that's how they're, they're feeling inside. But... Um, since we know this, we know that the electron is going to be going this way. So V is going to be going this way. And the reason why we want to have potential energy uh, relevant is because right now it's kind of like um, there is a repulsive force between them. And that repulsive force between them is c giving them some potential energy, right? It's kind of like we have a spring and we compress the spring. Um, there, there's a force between them that's trying to separate them and that force um, you know is, is tightly related to its potential energy and as that 
force, um, you know, starts to push the point charge and the electron away from each other, that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Okay, so potential energy comes from repulsive um, electric force between the two charges. Eventually, all this potentially, all this potential energy all potential energy, PE for potential energy, um, becomes electron kinetic energy. Okay, so given this, we know that um, the potential energy has to be equal to the kinetic energy because it's the question is asking us how fast will the electron be moving when it's very far away that means when it's so far away that the potential energy that is um, caused by their electric repulsion um, is not really relevant anymore so pretty much all of the potential energy is going to be equal to its kinetic energy um, at the end okay so um, this is the main principle, the conservation of energy. All the potential energy needs to be uh, transformed into kinetic energy. Okay, fairly straightforward. Now let's uh, change Ke and Pe to be uh, representative of this situation. So we know that potential energy for electric um, forces is K, which is Coulomb's constant, uh, little q big q just to specify that we're talking about different charges and it's all divided by r which is the separation between them okay and kinetic energy well kinetic energy is the same for pretty much all situations one half m v squared where m is the mass and v is the velocity okay so the question is asking us for the how fast the electron is moving which means just v uh, velocity so here our next plan is our next uh the next move that we're going to make is we want to isolate the v term okay so we multiply both sides by two and divide both sides by m so we have two k q a little q big q uh, all divided by r m and this will be equal to v squared and um well, we just square root both sides and we get V on its own. I'll write it this way, just so we can uh, sub in our numbers as required. So put that under the root K, uh, 2K, little Q, the big Q, R times M. Yep, fairly straightforward, all under the root. Okay, so now we should just sub in our numbers and uh, we'll we can find this, yeah, fairly straightforward. So here we have two. Uh, Coulomb's constant is nine times 10 to the power of nine. That's a uh, nice and easy to remember for me. Lil Q is gonna be the charge of the electron. And here we have it written as negative 1.6, negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Now we have big Q and big Q was given to us by the question negative point uh, two microcoulombs so negative 0 0.2 times 10 to the negative 6 and um, you know you see how we have a negative here and a negative there um, they will cancel each other out they will neutralize each other into a positive so everything will be positive under the root which is pretty good no imaginary numbers here no complex numbers here which is what we expect um, R is the separation between them, and that was given by the question as 0 0.745 meters. 0 0.745, that's the R, and the mass of the electron, um, well, we know that the mass of the electron has got to be 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. Uh, yeah, negative 31. Cool. So all of this under the root, um, it's, 
I would personally recommend that you try to do the algebra first and isolate who you want and then sub in the numbers. So then if you do find an error, um, it will be a lot easier to find. Um, it's just my suggestion. So let's uh, run this through the calculator and figure out what this, uh, the numerical result of this calculation is going to be. Cool. So start this up. 10 to the 9 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 times 0.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So I'll divide it by point seven four five times nine point one one times ten to the power of negative thirty one close that bracket and send it all under the root and uh, my result for this calculation is two um or I'll write it back to front just so like I can get my stuff good. Uh, we have 0.53242 132 and 29. Okay, so 29 million uh, meters per second. But um, now we need to accommodate our significant figures that were given by the question. So the question gives us um, a three sig figs here and three sig figs here. So we need to convert this to three significant figures for the final answer. So this shall be 2.91 um, times 10 to the power of 7 because this is 10 million so that corresponds to 10 to the power of 7. Um, meters per second and this will be the velocity or how fast the electron is going very far away so or maximum electron speed assuming no other influences Okay, so it, it would appear that we have a um, uh, precisely the same calculation here with the same sig fig. So this is all good, all good. Um, my only recommendation in response to uh, uh, the solution that we have here is that um, you should isolate the variables before you sub in any numbers, just because uh, writing out these numbers, if you write like even the smallest mistake, like if a nine, if you write, if you try to write a nine, but it kind of looks like this. You know, it could be confused for a four. Like these small things could really be uh, problematic. So that's so why I recommend doing all the algebra first, sub in the numbers at the very end. But otherwise, the above solution is good. Beautiful. Big high five. Good job.